everyone. Thanks for stopping in to see what I am up to. Now, oh, I have my Stitch Fix. Also, I have a Shop Your Look bag. Waiting for a second product. I don't know where it is. It's in Philadelphia somewhere. Should be here tomorrow. I, I hate delaying videos for one item, so I... When I get that one item, I will show it to you in another video and try it on and all that good stuff. It's just, you know, um, I think like a cap sleeve um, shirt for the summer, like a burgundy-ish, like a darker one to wear. I have leggings and jeans that I could wear it with, so I figured I would give it a try. Um, you know, I, none of this has been tried on yet. I just slipped the tape on boxes. I have Oreo to the right of me deciding to play and get in trouble I'm sure because she's going to make a lot of noise so she's going to lay down and be a good girl right you want to come say hi come on come on jump up come on okay I'll get you you can come say hi and then you have to oh god so heavy she's right here and she's just being a pain she's just being a little a little brat wanting mommy's attention when she can't have it right yeah it's okay it's okay look your hairs are sticking up go ahead go play okay <laughs> no, she's going to stay here. Let me tell you a little bit about Stitch, Stitch Fix before we get started with the unboxing. She's going to go sniff every box that's on the floor. Stitch Fix is a styling service for women, men's, and kids, which is phenomenal. They cover everybody. I've, seen, I've I found some kids' boxes because I had said the last video I hadn't seen any. And I thought the stuff was pretty cute. I know I've seen some men's boxes, obviously tons of ladies' boxes. So there is a styling fee of $20 per box unless you have the style pass. I have the style pass. I think it's good till June of this year. So if you were offered the style pass, it is $49 for the style pass, but it's good for one year. The $49 is a credit back to anything you keep in your box. And you don't have to use it like immediately. If you find something that's $40, you still have a $9 credit. I mean, they do give you your money that you pay back. If not, you have a $20 credit. Your styling fee is 20, you pay that up front, but then you have a $20 credit on any item that you keep from that box. With the styling fee, if you don't keep anything from the box, you forfeit your styling fee. You don't do that with the style pass. So if you're offered it and you can afford it, take it, because it's so worth not paying $20 a box. Um, you also don't have a $20 credit each box, but I would rather not have a credit than have to pay that every time I wanted a box. So you do what's best for you. Buy what you love, send back what you don't. They give you a prepaid USPS envelope to send back the items that you're not keeping. You have three days to decide. If you need more time, and I always do, because by the time I get this, and and because I only film twice a week, I could have just filmed. So then I have to I go right on the site, and you can manage your all your whole account. And I just extend my return date by a week until I know I can get to it, film it, and then get to the post office. Uh, keep all five items, you get a 25% discount, and you do check out online. Please, please, please give them as much feedback about the items that you're sending back, what you didn't like about them, and about the items that you keep. Because the more you can tell them of the things that you love, the more you'll get. And the things that you're sending back, if you truly hate, like I do not like the tab sleeves on a shirt of any kind. Well, I had to state that time after time after time. Now I don't get them, but the more I said, I don't like tab sleeves, don't like tab sleeves. So then the tab sleeves stopped. But if I never said that I didn't like them, they're going to continue to send what they've sent in the past because I'm not saying anything negative about it. It's not that you're being negative. You're just stating the things that you don't like about it. So before I get into the box, I'm going to do the shop your look item that I purchased. And you, you know, the same deal you don't know if you're gonna like it or not oreo what are you doing oreo one moment all right when she's quiet and like into something i'm like what did she find go lay down honey go lay down so i have one item in this bag and it is a top okay so this was yeah this was the navy blue so this is by let's see does it say on here West Key, this is the Allura Not Detail Blouse, navy size medium. This is cute. This is see-through. This is cute. It's like a dolman-esque sleeve. Here's your knot bottom, a little bit longer in the back than the front. The nice, nice floral for the summer. Um, that is very see-through. Uh, 
I can see the lights, but I can't see the... I would have to try it on. Like, I do have a white bra on today. Um, I don't want to have to wear... It. In the summertime, I do not want to have to layer and wear a tank or a camisole. So if I can see through that, then I obviously will not be keeping that because I'm not going to keep something that I have to layer um, in the summertime. Oreo. She's going in the trash can in the bathroom. Oh, my Lord, this dog. Okay, so this is my box. I'll give you a quick sneak peek inside there. It looks like something's loose. So let's see. Where's all the goodies? In the yeah. I just wanted to show you. You are getting in trouble today. Here is your envelope with your prepaid label on it. You don't have to worry about it. You do get an envelope. And in the envelope, you're going to have a bill. And I just want to look. I don't check prices. I just want to see what fix it is. 29 I save that for when I do the try-on. This way I'm not biased when I do the try-on. You get a little style card. I don't want to look at that either. You get a note from your stylist. And then the, the items on each little card, are, you get five items. It gives you a little hints on how to style and all that good stuff. So I usually look at that and read my style note um, when I do the try-on. Ah, nose is itching. Let's get this bundle on. Oh, something's loose at the bottom. It must have come out. So we'll get rid of this box. Maybe she'll smell that one too. So this is from Market and Spruce. This is the Karina Brush Dolman Knit Top and Pink a Size Medium. Oh, this is really pretty. Nice and soft. Beautiful. This might be too long, but I don't mind the sleeves. This is like elbow or below my elbow sleeve. What's the front look like? I didn't even get to see the front. Is it just a straight like scoop? The back has a seam up the back and you know, it's a nice rounded hemline that might be too long. You can usually tell by looking at them that they're too long, but we'll see. I do like that. And here's the rest of the bundle. It looks like that slid out of the bundle. No big deal. We'll just get rid of this paper because it does make noise. Give her something to smell because she doesn't know what to do with herself. Okay, so the next top is from Kaylee. This is the Journey Lattice Front Knit Top in Burgundy and a Medium. Not kind of over the lattice look. So this is uh, it's either three quarter or like wrist length sleeve. The material is not bad. I don't know if this one's going to be too long too. I can usually tell by looking at them. Like I said, the lattice work detail I am kind of over. Um, and then sometimes it's too scooped and it's, so therefore it's way too low for me. So that I'm not sure of. Let's see this next one. Pink Clover, um, Beltran Raglan Sleeve Knit Top Burgundy Medium Petite. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Nice. I like this. Lightweight. Pretty much the same hem, hem length. Cute. This is the sleeve. And she's back to playing, making making noise. So this is the back. That's really cute. Oh, I'm excited for that. Let's see what this is. From Colette, the Romy Cold Shoulder Knit Top in Purple and Medium Petite. I don't know how I am about the cold shoulder stuff either anymore. So this is the that's the back. So this is the front. That might not be too bad. Here's your cold shoulder detail right here. We'll have to see. I, I'm not sure about that. And like I said, you know, the back is just plain. But that's kind of cute purple. And let's see what this last item is. So, this is from Market and Spruce. Hall's Brush Knit Two Pocket Cardi in Navy in a Medium. So here's this has like a little bit of a ribbed um, like collar and then down the front here um, there's ribbing around the bottom which I'm not a fan of and then there's ribbing around the cuff which is fine just there oh there are pockets and then the back is just plain we'll have to see I don't know that usually the ribbing around the bottom I'm not a fan of it could be around the sleeves and down the front but that I, I don't know and that's not really is that like a true navy? See, that's not really a navy. That's more just of a blue. I am in the hunt for, and it says navy, but that's not a true navy. I want a dark navy. This is, they might consider it navy blue, but it's not. It's more of a lighter blue. 
So they're the items, and then I have the Shop Your Look top, so I'll put that here too. And with the Shop Your Look items, if you pick something, I don't have to send, because in this envelope here, there is, just in case you buy anything from them, you do get a return label, prepaid, you know, a little thank you, all that good stuff in your envelope. If you just look, if this came a week ago and I opened it and looked at it and I'm like, eh, and sent, you can send it back in this envelope with the prepaid label. Or since I just received a fix, like I received this top a day before the fix and then the fix came, I can send this all back in this envelope that they provided. I don't have to ship it in this and then anything I don't want put in here. You can put it all back because it's all going back to Stitch Fix. So you can just put it all together. If you have 10 items from Shop Your Look and they all fit in the bag, you can send it all back with your regular Stitch Fix. So that being said, um, let me reset everything up and get these tops and cardigan tried on. I'll be back in just a moment. I have the Shop Your Look top on. So this is the navy top. Now I don't have, I think this was $42 on shop your look i think it fits good actually um it falls like right at the top of my zipper of my pants which is fine could wear it with leggings i think it would still be fine with shorts i have black jeans on today i probably wouldn't wear black jeans with you know jean shorts or jeans or really just anything i think like i said the fit is perfect the v is not too deep now, I have a white bra on. I can't see it. I did look in the mirror. I don't know if you guys can. I'll have to see that on the footage. I mean, if I pull the shirt out, yeah, I can see through it. But it's when it's next to your body, you can't see through it. So, and then the back, just have an extension. Here's the back. So, it does cover your bum. But I don't think it's too big at all. I think the fit is good. I don't mind the price. Um, this is something a little dressier. You know, if I had white shorts on in the summer... Put this on if i had to go somewhere a little bit you know where like casual but you want it to be nice could wear it with dress pants or you know dress capris if i was going to like a shower i mean i don't know if we're gonna be able to do that stuff this you know this summer but just a very light casual not hot top for the summer and still be cute um so i kind of like this one tell me what you think and let's move on to the next item so we have the first top on from The Fix. So this is the Colette Roomy Cold Shoulder Knit Top in Purple and Medium Petite, $34. Guess what I see? Rachel has my note. I think Rachel is back. I'm so excited. Um, I'm trying to see where they have this top. They have it with jeans with patterned bottoms. I don't think that that's bad. I actually don't mind the cold shoulder because it really is not... Like I thought it would be more cold shoulder up this end, but it's just a little bit, and there's a little bit of a twist detail on the sleeve. I think this is nice. It's like right at collarbone, so it's not, sometimes they're too low, sometimes they're like up. Um, I think this is a good fit for, and this was a medium petite. Is that what she sent me? Medium petite. I have, um, I have not gotten on the scale. I have noticed my clothes are a little looser. Um, I ordered a pair of like capris. Um, and a medium and they're too big so i don't i might have to exchange, a different company exchange them for a small but i think this fits perfectly um show you the back it's not grabbing anywhere it still have some room there's no lumps and bumps showing it does have on the side a little bit of an up hopefully you guys can see all that like a curved hem perfect hits me at the top of my legs not all the way down like rachel knows I I really do like this top and I didn't think I would with the cold shoulder, but it's not really opening super wide. And I like the the little cross detail at the bottom. Very comfortable. I feel like I don't have a top on. And that's what you want when it's hot. I mean, we can get in the 90s and the hundreds with 80% humidity, 90% humidity where it's so oppressive. You don't want a heavy top on. Um, a lot of times I'll have a tank on if I'm just staying in the house or if I'm just like out and about doing quick stuff just and I don't wear tank tops often um it's just too you're too sticky right away you're 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 tacky and sweaty and uh, ugh, I don't like that so tops like this that don't feel like you have anything on that still are cute would be very cool I could wear this with I have black jeans on today with black with blue with white um jeans white shorts all different color shorts purple goes with with navy blue so beautifully 
So that is this top. I like this one. Be back with the next item. This is the top from Pink Clover Beltran Raglan Sleeve Knit Top. Just want to make sure that it doesn't have any other wording. No knit top. Burgundy. Well, you know, it's not like a deep burgundy. Medium petite, thirty eight dollars. I don't think which is a bad price. The sleeves are, are nice. The neckline, you know, is perfect. I prefer V necks. But I'm okay as long as they're like collarbone or below, not like up against my throat. Um, I think the fit is good. It's not too long. I could still wear it now with leggings. Could wear it with shorts. It does have the, you know, the rounded hem. So you have the slit. Turn around so you can see the bottom, the back. It's not grabbing anywhere, which I like. So this is a nice top. I like this. Um, I oh I. For, I swear for a year, I wanted a t-shirt material one like this for the summer. But this is lightweight enough. I don't think I could wear it in the summer, summer, just because it would be too warm because it is a knit. If it was more cotton, it might cling a little bit more, but I don't know. Um, so, Rachel, if you're watching this, I still would love a cotton one like this. But this one is not bad at all. I think the length is perfect. Covers your bum. Comes down to the top of my legs slightly past, but not by much. So I like this one, and let me give one of the other tops a try. So I have the Kaylee Journey Lattice Front Knit Top in Burgundy in Medium, $36. Also not a bad price. I think my whole box is only $142, which is not bad. I don't, I like it. I'm a little confused if I like it enough to keep it. Sleeve length is, you know, like a three-quarter sleeve. This nice material, it's, it is nice. I. I just don't know if I'm over the lattice. I probably could cut them off. I just don't know how the neckline would lay then. If it would lay nice and it's not too low. I mean, another inch down and it would be, but it's not too low. I could put a nice necklace on if I got rid of these, but I'm not sure. Tell me what you all think of this crisscross stuff. I, I might be over it. I don't think the length is too long. Um, you know, it gives me some shape. It's not boxy uh, at all here's the back it's not i don't think it's grabbing i did look in the mirror gives me a nice uh nice shape there not too long at all doesn't show any lumps or bumps i have a you know white bra and you can't see through it it's nice feels nice like i said these tops are feeling like almost like you don't have anything on like it's not tight or pulling in any way but i'm not sure about this and i don't know if i cut them how if it would maintain its shape it might because these are loose and then i might keep it i don't know so i'm on the fence about this one so i'm going to try the navy blue sweater on probably with my own top when i come back but i have one more top and that's that really cute pink one can't wait for that one this is the market and spruce karina brushed dolman top right dolman knit top in pink, size medium, $38. Oops, don't fall. Okay. I don't mind the sleeves at all because I can bring them up, have them fall where they're landing, neckline, soft. I love, you know, the print. It's just too long for me. I have it cuffed up. This is where tops like this, I'd like to fit. They're at the, it's at the top of my leg, just similar to the purple one. Even the other one, the, the other two are slightly longer, but they're flowier. So this is where I like it to land. I think it's cute. This is how long it is. So for me, is all it's doing, because it's longer, is it is clinging here where I don't like and my problem area. So it would need to be shorter to stop doing that. Yes, could I fix that hemline and make it a straight hemline? Yeah. Should I have to? No. So I would say that this top would have to be, like I had it, like right there. It would have to fall at the top of my legs and therefore it wouldn't cling because then your bottom is sewn differently and it doesn't cling. So I would have to say out of all of them so far, I still have the cardigan, which I'll try on with my own shirt when I come back. Um, this one is probably a definite no. I love it, but I'm not going to alter it. And this, I um, honestly wouldn't have too, too much wear. I mean, I could save it for the fall. It's not that big of a deal because it is cute. But I could also get it again 
or try to find something with a straight bottom, not these um, longer bottoms that are, you know, curved. Um, the price is good. I don't think, you know, for Stitch Fix, it's a great, great price. But I think this one's definitely a not keeper. Out of the other ones that are possibilities, this one's a definite no. So I'll be back with my own shirt on and we'll try the cardigan on. So I have the Market and Spruce Halls Brush Knit Two Pocket Cardigan on. Just trying to find that. Navy, size medium, $44. I like it. It's sort of, you guys can see, more of like a speckled look, which I don't mind. I don't mind the, the ribbing around here, um, around the sleeves. It, I think the fit is perfect. The length is good. I don't, I really just, and the pockets are perfect. I don't care for the banding at the bottom. And I just think it hugs too much, like under your butt. And just seems to, if it was just a straight bottom, I think I would like it better. It's also not a true navy, which, and I have tags like sticking me in the back of the neck. This is a true navy. So you can see that it's off. I want a true navy, oops, sorry here, top. I want a true navy cardigan. This is a, this is close. It's blue. They haven't listed as navy. I mean, the fit is perfect and is lightweight enough that I could use it now into the, you know, future into the spring, in the summer if it's chilly, and into the fall and be perfectly fine. I could wear this in the winter time um, under a jacket in the house if it's just that little bit chilly. Like today. I don't know what the temps are today, but it's a little, still a little crisp in the air and cold and I have a short sleeve shirt on, but I had a black fleece jacket on most of the day because it is still chilly. Heats up to 70, but it's still, you know, the air's still cold. So something like this on during the day is fine because it's just enough to keep you warm where you're not like, I have some sweaters that are super heavy. Well, I don't want that and they'll get put away for the summer unless we get, you know, happen to dip way down in the evening in the spring that I could still wear them. But I do like this. I just don't know if I'll keep this. Like, I want a true navy that will go more with jeans, with my navy shorts. I have a ton of navy shorts, jean shorts. And I don't, I think this is not close enough of a match for jeans. Like, I would prefer, like I said, this is navy. Like, I want a dark navy blue cardigan. Um, no ribbing on on the bottom i don't mind it here or, or even down the front here i think this adds you know texture and design to it but not over on the bottom i love the pockets perfect placement so i would say the um, pink shirt is a no because it's too long and it's clingy in the belly and i'm trying i've it's not you know i've lost some in the belly area which is good um i just don't want to lose too much everywhere else but I'm trying to get rid of the little bit of the belly um, I think this is a no because of the ribbing, but I'll be back in just a moment. I'll, I'll sit down with you all and tell you what I think I'm going to keep. So tell me what you thought about the shop, your look, navy blue top. Did you like this one? See, I don't think that this is too bulky of a knot that it hits you right in the front and causes any problems. I've had plenty of tops like that. Even though I can sort of see through, especially with the brighter lights when it was on, I didn't notice that you could see through it. So I do like this and think this would be very nice to wear um, in the warmer months and, you know, dress up a white short or a navy short, jean shorts, if you had to go somewhere, or even just on a day-to-day -day basis. So tell me what you think about that top. So what I'm going to tell you for the actual fix, and I'm so, so happy that Rachel's back. I didn't do too bad with some of the other stylists, but Rachel is my all-time favorite. So welcome back, Rachel. I'm so happy to have you back with me. Um, I definitely think this blue sweater is going to be a no. I like it, but I don't love it because of the ribbing on the bottom. So that is going to go back. And then this top is going to go back. It's just too long. If this was a little bit shorter or a straighter hem at the bottom, I would keep this in a heartbeat. And I'm not going to alter it. I know the price is not bad. It's $38, but by the time I altered it, you know, I I wouldn't ruin it because I would just cut the curved part off and then just come off of the of the seam here and then just cut all this extra off and then just come straight across. But I don't want to have to do that with my clothing. You know, I went through too many years of having to alter my stuff, but I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, I could. 
you know, not happening, no. So I have some, those are definite going back, no ands, ifs, or buts. Tell me what you thought about this. I kind of liked it, and I kind of am not sure. The material's nice. It's got some stretch to it. I don't think it would be hot. Um, I just don't know about the sleeve length. Obviously, we're coming into the warmer weather, but I could use this spring and fall. Don't have to wear it in the summer. Tell me what you think about the crisscross detail, and tell me if you think I could cut them off. I think they're loose enough that it wouldn't affect the neckline, but I'm afraid that it would sag it if I cut them because I'm not crazy about that. So this is a maybe. I'll to help. I want your guys help for this. My other maybe is this. I like it, but I just don't know with it being a knit if I would get much use out of it. I mean, I will now. I could wear it in the fall. I know I would not get much use in the summer because it would be too warm, but tell me, I have not seen the footage, um, so you tell me what you thought it looked like on. I mean, I looked in the mirror before I came in front of the camera. So, like, these two I'm iffy about. I loved this top. But this is the perfect length top. You, I can look at it and tell you it's the perfect length. I love the material. It's... It's purple, but it almost looks like it has like fine gray material uh, threads. I like the neckline, and I actually I almost said no automatically to the cold shoulder. Put it because I, but it barely did did not open real wide. I love this little detail at the sleeve. I think it was cute. So I am a, a keeper on this for sure. Like, I like that one that much, and I could wear this with a lot, and I'm almost a keeper on the navy blue top for that I got from Shop Your Look, but these two, I'm not sure. And then, am I making a mistake with the cardigan and the other top? Um, you know, sometimes we're too critical of ourselves. Um, I know I really do love that pink top from Market and Spruce, and I know I could fix it, and it would take me probably five minutes, ten minutes to just... Put it on my board because I have a huge sewing board and get my roller and just, you know, tack it down so it doesn't mean we just put a roll, you know, use my roller knife, cut straight across it to make a straight hem and then just hem it. Um, it would take me five, ten minutes. So, I mean, it's not that I couldn't fix it. It's just a matter of should I have to fix it to make it work or just send it back. I do love everything in the box. If the cardigan didn't have ribbing at the bottom, I would love it even more. I mean, 142, if I kept everything in the box, 142.50. That really is not a bad price whatsoever. Um, the purple top, if I keep it, is $34. So that I think that's pretty much a definite. And then the blue top from Shop Your Look is $42. I've already paid for that. If I return it, I just get a credit. But I've already paid for that. So that's technically paid for, money spent, not even thinking about it. Um, not, but you let me know your opinion on that if you didn't like it if the fit didn't look good to you um, I want your opinion that's why I do these with try-ons let me know what you think I've extended this to the 15th so that there's time for you guys to see this video and then give me your your thoughts so that is my stitch fix 29 Rachel is back so so happy to see that I know she was on a leave of absence for a while I don't know they don't tell you the reason, but it doesn't matter to me as long as she's back. Um, so I'm happy to see that. I know I was looking for um, a pink sweater. So she sent me that pink, this pink top, hoping I would like the pink part of it. You find me a cardigan like this and I would be in love, sweetheart. Um, but a nice pink like that is a cardigan because I had ordered a blue um, and it was a true navy blue and a pink, a soft pink cardigan through Shop Your Look. They came, tried them on. I didn't have this fix coming, so I didn't want to hold them. It just had the whole sleeve was ribbed. It, just too much ribbing all over the place. And the sleeves ribbed, I don't like. And you can't tell that from the picture. It doesn't tell you in the descriptive. Um, so she sent me this in place of the pink cardigan. And if this, the length was better, I would definitely keep this because the softness alone and i would get to wear it now and in the fall so i would still get use out of it this year um so tell me what I, tell me what i should do i know i'm keeping the purple that's a given i want your opinion on everything else even like i said even the blue top 
I appreciate you sticking to the end with me and getting through the try on part. I hope everyone's doing well and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye now.